guys and welcome back to the compound series. Today's compound is Blank Brinery. But before we get inside Blank, I want you to take a look at this building. In the game, there are a lot of houses like this one and some things that I'm going to show you are going to be valid in all of these buildings. Let's start with this one. You can absolutely aim below the building and every type of bullet will penetrate it. Coming inside from the main door of this building is always risky. The people on the second floor have a clear vision on you and they will definitely have an advantage on you. Coming from the windows is the way to go. Not only you cannot be spotted by the people on top, but considering that the roof is made out of wood, you can also wall bang them. Moving on the first floor, we can take a look at this window. This window is not only good to ambush people in the forest, but it's also good to snipe the people in Lawson Station. These two windows point directly at the compound, but peeking this window right here is a good way to expose yourself. If you want to shoot at the compound, go in the window below and use this cover. The blank wooden sign is not bulletproof and it will allow you to shoot the people in the window. Let's explore now the external part of the car. This cart is a very common spot to use when you are fighting people behind the trains. For some strange reason, this cart is bulletproof, but it can still shoot your feet behind it. If you are getting shot from the compound, this cart can be a good cover from this side. But don't forget that the edges are not bulletproof. From the left side of the train, you can clearly see to the very end of it but the bullets might get stopped by the metal sheets. The right side is pretty open. The train line has three gaps where you can shoot from. Keep in mind, every metal part of the train is bulletproof, but there are some metal parts that behave like they are made out of wood for some reason. From here, you can clearly see the big sliding door of the boss lay. This segment here is one of the fastest ways to get inside the compound. But be careful, because it can hide a very skilled hunter hiding right there. I showed you earlier what does it look like from the side of the train, and as you may have noticed, standing there in hard scope is not a good idea. So now I'm going to show you how to get hated globally for using this better spot. Don't even think to get cover here during a fight. Your character will keep vaulting if you jump and your mobility is very limited. There are many ways to get inside the compound fast, and this is one of them. You can also use the roof as a cover. This is another great way to get in. These barrels are a bit dangerous, the only thing showing is your head and it will be very easy to shoot it from the inside the compound. 
after you get inside the boss layer, there are these two spots you may want to check. On the left, we have these boxes that for some reason are made of bulletproof wood that offers great cover. You can use this spot to defend the compound from the people coming out of Gorar. But don't forget that the whole forest can see you too. This spot is very underrated. If you play Gunslinger, don't use it, cause your weapon is gonna pick behind the corner all the time. This gap is perfect to watch the entrance. And if they are coming from the train side, don't forget these cards are very tall and you can do stuff like this. If the enemy doesn't die from the explosion, he is definitely gonna lose 25 HPs permanently. The oil on the ground can be lit to push the enemies where you want them. But keep in mind, you are also trapping yourself inside. The only bulletproof part of this card are the wheels, everything else is an open spot for you and the enemy. There are a couple of safe ways to clear this building and this is one of them. You can see the whole building without many problems. The left side is pretty open, so I suggest instead using this crack right here. Or, if you want to go extra safe, jump here and use this other crack. You can also cover this side of the compound and I promise you, no one checks this post when they rush. This building may not look special, but this corner right here is very very good to defend the Lawson Station side. These boxes are a bit difficult to master. The upper part and the sides are not bulletproof, but the very middle is bulletproof and offers perfect cover. This is the escape route I use when I get frag grenades spammed. It's very easy to run away and I will give you a different angle on the compound attackers. I still need to understand why the sand makes wooden noise. This is one of the must learn spots in the compound. You can throw what you want from this little gap and kill the players defending the boss layer. You can use the roof to defend the forest side using the concrete wall, and you can also use it to defend the Godard dock side. I want to show you now how important is positioning when you enter this narrow space. The left side is the only safe side to use. The roof is pretty simple to use, you go on the top and you use the roof as a cover. But there are some spots that you need to master, the watchtower and the white house. Very important is this metal cover right here, it will stop any common medium and compact ammo giving you tactical advantage. If you need to leave the roof very fast, you can jump down here and take no fall damage. Now we talk about the real deals. This hole right here is a must know. You can throw what you want down there or you can shoot the players inside. But make sure you keep moving because from downstairs it's really easy to shoot at you with the sky as a background.
You're welcome. This is not the only hole. This one is a little bit safer, but offers scarce visibility. It's way more difficult to see you from the inside, though. We are finally inside the boss layer, and the first spot you need to master is this one. Same wooden window rules, the further you go, the better you see. This is the art scope corner I was talking about. If you go in from that window, you are dead. Let's go out for a second and let's talk about this ignore spot. For some reason, this metal sheet is completely bulletproof. If you need some cover, now you know where to go. But this spot has something else to offer. If you climb all the way there, you can wait on top of the tube and ambush your victim. When you approach the hole, crouching, and see an enemy up there, it's already too late. Let's go back in, so I can show you what the holes look like from the inside. The clear sky background is a death sentence. Don't stand up there for too long, just cook your nade from the corner and keep moving. Like I told you earlier, this hole is difficult to counter, cause there is a lot of stuff in the way. Usually this sliding door is trapped, and if you do trap it, use these two spots to defend it. But be very careful for the gap behind you. This is another angle on the roof hole. You can use this angle to counter the hole pretty good. Unfortunately, you can't climb any of these ladders. This window is the best counter for the people pushing the staircase. If you pay attention, you can easily wall bank the attackers. I was a little bit not sure about showing these spots, but damn, it's too good. You can throw what you want in the boss layer without being spotted. This is, in my opinion, the best spot of the whole compound. This one is more of a meme spot. You can wait here and go full Batman on the people pushing from below you. And we have reached once again the end of our tour. I want to remember you guys that I'm live every day on Twitch at the link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.